Thank you for watching this presentation of Rust Belt Diecast Racing. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Sky Drop here at Rust Belt Raceway Park. Today we're continuing our lightweight series with Group B, kicking it off with Lady of Speed and the Zuru Warrior. And then we have the Chrysler 300 Chrome from Matman 213. Killer Bunny will be driving the Brain. And from Gen X Vintage Racing, we have Little Slammer, driven by Miscreants. And then Pretty in Pink, driven by the Pink Pirate. Next up, we have HJ, driving Benjamin, and that's for Madness Motorsports. And there's JP from Rust Belt Racing, driving the Redhead. And we're going to round it out with Debruza from League of Speed. So let's take these beauties down the sky drop and see what lightweight creativity can do. And y'all know Crazy Coach is ready for a good race here at the sky drop. So let's go to our first race and it's going to be Lady of Speed in the Zuru Warrior and Debruza from League of Speed, a house divided. So here we go, husband and wife team coming down and it looks like Debruza from League of Speed is going to take that one as Lady of Speed gives him a little bruza there as he knocks over one of the Jawas who are responsible for maintaining the track now that uh, that Frank is gone. So we come down the parabola cam. You can see he had her by a good half of car's length. So let's put him back up again. League of Speed moving to the outside. And that's where he's going to take it. Put it away. League of Speed moving on to the next round, knocking out Lady of Speed. Now here you can see when we go over to the Parabola Cam, there's a much closer race this time. So you can see those two neck and neck, nose to nose, two very fast cars. League of Speed in Debruza is moving on. Next we'll have Matman213 in the Chrysler 300 Chrome and JP driving the Redhead for the home team at Rust Belt Racing. And there they go at it. What? It just happened. It looked like Madman213 actually crossed lanes. He did. He did. He passed Redhead in the other lane. Watch this. As they hit the parabola, he actually turns into the inside lane and passes for the win. A little wobbly, but he straightened it out. That was something that we have never seen here at Rust Belt Raceway Park. Let's put him up again. And Madman213 is going to put away JP in the redhead. The Chrysler 300 Chrome is moving on to the next round. Look at that. Nice clean racing that time. No dirty crossover stuff jumping into other lanes. Madman213 moving on. And race three will bring us Killer Bunny driving for the Knights that say me in the brain. And that little yellow guy there looks a little stiff in the box. That is HJ driving Benjamin. And that one is actually out of the Rust Belt Racing Garage, but driving for Madness Motorsports. And it looks like HJ just couldn't outlast. And Killer Bunny in the brain takes it there. It's all about stamina here at the Sky Drop. You got to be able to outlast the other one. But you can see here he is coming up short, probably something that he's used to. Right there, not a great run for HJ. We'll see if he can redeem himself, get a second win here. No, it is going to be the brain taking out HJ. Benjamin Carr is not doing well today. Lack of performance, maybe a little performance anxiety, I would even say, because he is way behind here. Pulling up short yet again, just couldn't get the length to make it down the track in time. So Killer Bunny is moving on. And our fourth and final race of the first round, we'll see Lil Slimer, driven by Miscreants for Gen X Vintage Racing. And the other car will be the Skull Shaker, which is pretty in pink, driven by the Pink Pirate. Two good looking cars, we'll see how they do. Wow, Slimer had a giant jump and the parabola propelled him look at that that was four car lengths maybe in between there we'll see on the parabola cam here that big jump that slimer gets right off of the parabola 
You could see him just picking up speed. You give him another 10 feet, that thing is going to be gone through the wall. That was picking up a lot of speed. So let's put him back up and see if the pink pirate has an answer. No, that might have been even more. That looked like closer to five car lengths there for Slimer. Maybe six car lengths for Slimer there. Will Slimer is a beast here. So miscreants for Gen X Vintage Racing will be moving on. Look at the distance between these two. Pretty incredible, even Crazy Coach liked that one. So that'll bring us to our first race of the semifinals. We'll have Killer Bunny on the inside lane driving for the Knights that same me. And for League of Speed, we are going to have the Bruiser. Good drop for both cars. League of Speed takes that one. Now this was a relatively close race as you can see, both passing right around the same time. Luckily we have that great finish line that was donated by the racers that say me and it didn't help killer bunny to win this time as league of speed into bruiser you can see on the parabola cam had a really good jump off of the parabola and that's sometimes all you need set him back up oh it looked like killer bunny had a great drop and league of speed with the comeback speed off the parabola took that one let's go to the parabola cam this one should be pretty interesting you can see league of speed getting behind and then right here right at crazy coach he passes to overtake killer bunny and move on so league of speed will be going on to the championship race and so now here we have little slimer and the chrysler 300 chrome so that's going to be gen x vintage racing and matman 213 to see who else will be in the championship let's drop them Matman 213, not by much though. Little Slimer still getting a lot of heat off the Prabla. Matman 213 beats him by maybe about a half a car's length. As you can see here, very close. But passing Crazy Coach, that's usually the defining factor right there to see if you are going to win or not. So let's put him back up. Who will make it to the championship? It's going to be Matman 213 moving on in the Chrome 300. That was a much better run for him from the inside lane. And you can see here, he really had a great jump off the parabola. And like I said, that's sometimes all you need. So here we are, championship racing here at the Skydrop for Group B of the Lightweight Series. It's going to be the Chrysler 300 Chrome of Matman 213 and the Bruza from Lead of Speed. Both very fast cars using the parabola to their advantage. Let's see them. That's going to be Matman 213 taking it from the inside lane. Very little separation, too, from DeBruiser there from League of Speed. You can see both of them coming down here past Crazy Coach. Super close race. I would love to see another one of those. Maybe get a sudden death out of this one. Both good drops, and Madman213 is your Group B champion. Barely edging out League of Speed. What a great race that was. That was one of those legendary sky drop races. Congratulations, Matman213. So weird, we didn't have any sudden deaths today. I, I blame it on Frank. Frank took the day off and we have no sudden deaths. Can we get Frank to take off tomorrow too? That'd be great.